On to a story that is happening today. El Paso City Council will be discussing the city manager's employment agreement. Yeah, topic of discussion. KTSM 9 News reporter Jasmine and Perry. She's live outside of City Hall. And Jasmine, we know there are new city reps sworn in just last month. What did they have to say about this item on the agenda? Well, good morning, Brenda and Trevor. So I reached out to the new representatives, Joe Molinar and Brian Kennedy last week. And from what they tell me, this is a personal item um, and they cannot speak prior to the meeting that's happening later today. Now, what we do know is that they place this item on the agenda. On August 23rd of last year, Tommy Gonzalez was named one of the finalists for city manager position in Frisco, Texas. Since then, city council did everything to keep him from going, extending his contract. Council approved the changes 6-2, to two, with reps Joe Molinar and Alexandra Anello voting no to the amendments. As for District 6 Representative Claudia Rodriguez, she ended up voting yes to his extension. While Molinar commented to KTSM at the time, he was very surprised by her change of heart since May of 2022. Although the current contract expires in 2029, it is a two-year automatic contract extension that does not include a salary cap. However, Gonzalez's salary has increased with base salary above $400,000. That's including additional perks, not including sick leave, pay time off, and expense reimbursement. When he was named finalist for city manager in Frisco, the most recent changes to his five-year contract extension was vetoed twice by Mayor Oscar Leeser. It's been nine years since Gonzalez became the city manager, and over his tenure, it, his contract has been amended five times since 2014. And now see the city reps have, um, now they have like a really uh, big concern over Gonzalez's contract. But later this morning, our KTSM 9 News crew will be out here at the meeting at 9 a.m to cover the story for the noon. Reporting in downtown, I'm Jasmine Perry, KTSM 9 News. Jasmine, thank you. We do